Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you my dear friend. A good morning indeed. We bless the Lord for making it possible for us to meet here this morning. A friend of mine made a joke and he said, it doesn't matter which side of the bed you're waking up to, whether on the right side or on the wrong side. It doesn't matter. What matters is who is sitting on the throne. And this morning I can assure you undisputably that God is sitting on the throne. And since he's sitting on the, on the throne, what comes on the side doesn't matter. What matters is the Lord reigns. The Lord is in charge. Allow me to mention something, a reflection that I've titled, Groan Now and Glory Later. Groan Now. Groaning is that sound of anguish, the sound of agonizing, the sound of pain that somebody produces, that sound of discomfort, displeasure, that sound is called groaning. And therefore, I'm talking about groan now and glory later. A Christian friend of mine whose family is experiencing tough times admits that he feels disappointed, he feels let down, he's agonizing in prayer, and uh, <clears throat> he says that he's been praying, he's been on mountains, he has claimed promises, read the scriptures, and it appears like nothing is coming forth. Nothing is coming forth. And he's saying that he's on the verge of giving up. He's saying that the frustrating thing is that he knows that God is powerful and that he has witnessed God in the past perform great things. He goes on to say that this time round, he feels that God is quiet, that God is silent, that God is unseen, is not seeing God completely. My friend, you might be going through situations and circumstances this morning. Things that make you feel like God is nowhere to be seen. Things that are making you feel like you are all alone. May I suggest this to you this morning? That quite often, God uses setbacks. Setbacks to move us forward. I want to read a scripture and then I'll mention a few things and then I'll be praying with you as I allow you to go into your day. The Bible says in the letter of Paul to Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 17. This is what the word of God says. For this light momentary affliction is preparing, is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Paul is saying that the pains that we are going through currently are light. He's saying that they are light and that they are preparing us for a glorious moment that is coming, that is coming. He's saying that the pains that you're going through now are brief. They are just momentary. They will not be here forever. He's saying that they are actually meant to prepare us for something glorious. I wanted to know why Paul is referring to the pain that you're going through as light. I went a few pages up in the same in the same chapter. The Bible says in chapter 4 of 2 Corinthians verses 8, we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, 
always carrying in the body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our bodies. My dear friend, let me suggest to you that the obstacles that we face in life are used by God to push us forward. But again, how will you know that the spirit that, that, that the fruit of patience is alive in you unless if you're taken through a case that will test patience? How will you know that you, 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 you can trust in God unless if you're taken through a case that will test your trust? How will you know that you love unless if you're taken through a case that will test your love? And therefore, my dear friend, I want to leave you with this, that hold on, hold on. The obstacles that are coming are just a test so that one day when you'll be standing before the Lord, the Lord will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done, my good and faithful servant. The Lord bless you, my dear friends. Groan, but hope that there is glory. Groan now and glory later. Let the pains, the pains that you're going through, don't let them pin you down. Groan now, cry now, but hope for glory later. Allow me to pray with you, even some bring this to, uh, to a close. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you are on the throne. Our circumstances don't matter. Whatever we are going through doesn't matter. One thing that matters is that you are seated on the throne and disputable. You are God, you alone. And therefore we give you glory, Lord, today as you are going out, we have this encouragement that the, our God is still God. You are Lord, you are King of the universe. And our circumstances, our situations will not put us down because the Lord reigns. We give you praise. praise. I'm praying, Lord, that would you strengthen my viewer? Would you strengthen my brother, my sister? Whatever they are going through, Lord, encourage them. Encourage them. Encourage them, O King of Glory. We give you glory. We give you honor that you are King and King Eternal. Take the praises in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you, my dear friends. It was nice to have you here. Until we meet again, stay blessed. My name is Philip Odera. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.